Hi everyone, this is Johnny O'Nose, and I'm playing Imperium Galactic Survival 203. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to fly, dock, and warp different vessels. I'm using two blueprints. You see here, one is this capital ship, and this other one is this small vessel. This small vessel is the Avenger Omnifighter, made by a guy named Bornigis929. So please pick it up. It's a really cool looking ship. It's a small vessel that allows you to get inside and it's got all the gear inside. It's a really great vessel. And you'll see more of the hack on later, who, which was made by Mr. Ice Cat. Definitely suggest picking up both of these blueprints, subscribing them through the workshop, and it's really easy just to spawn them using the blueprint system. So here's the Avenger. Hit spawn. And boom, you have another Avenger. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to fly uh, the Avenger as well as the Hakon. So you get inside and you want to hit Y to power on the ship. You can also hit P and click on the powered button here. Just make sure you have enough fuel uh, by going to the uh, fuel tanks. Let's see if we can find it here. Yep. Fuel tanks. Of course, they're alphabetical. And you can throw in some fuel tanks or some uh, fuel packs into the fuel tanks. Alright, so now that we have enough fuel, this thing is going to fly for 194 minutes, which is nice. So to take off, you just hit space. Spacebar will give you some up, um, upwards momentum, and C will give you some downwards momentum. To strafe, you hit A and D, just as you would if you're pl using the player character. To go forward, you hit W, and to go backwards, you hit S. Kind of basic flight model. And if you got all the right thrusters in place, the ship should be pretty stable. You can move the ship's direction by using the mouse, or which I, what I like to do is by using the arrow keys, which makes it easier to um, control the direction of some of the larger ships. Smaller ships sh should be able to do with the mouse, but um, as you can see, there's a lot of having to pick up the mouse and reset where it's at. So using the arrow keys works just fine. Oh, all right. So now that's flight. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to dock, and docking is actually really easy. Well, yeah, this ship is right in between where you should either use the mouse or the 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 arrow keys. A little fast in the arrow keys, and it's a little too slow with the mouse. But I'm going to go ahead and fly over to the Hakon now, which is a capital vessel. And to dock, docking is really easy. All you have to do is just ensure that you have some sort of landing gear on your ship and then just land as firmly as possible and then you want to look at the bottom right hand side where it says small vessel it says power usage power left and then you have docked if dock says yes you're good to turn off your ship and get out there we go we are docked very simple. Now docking only works for vessels, small vessels and hover vessels um, on a capital ship. I guess they found no need to actually have a docking system for bases because they don't move. So this ship will go wherever we take the capital ship. So let's run on over to the cockpit of the ship. Taking the elevator up to the bridge. And we're now flying this capital ship. If you hit V, you'll get a third person view of the ship, which may be, make it easier to fly these larger vessels, because really all you see right now is this viewpoint, but if you wanted to see more, you can hit third person. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go up into space. Unfortunately, you can't hear the engines too well when you're in third person, so it's not as satisfying if you're in first. Ah, the hum of a gigantic ship. How nice. Alright, so we're just going into orbit here. And to warp, you need to do a couple things. First off, you need to make sure that there's fuel in the warp, warp drive tanks. So to do that, hit P, and then you navigate to the warp drive. So there's a warp drive as well as a warp drive tank. Access the warp drive tank and put this pendaxid item inside of the tank. 
each pentax pentaxed item will give you, I think, one AU worth of distance for warping. So now that we're in space, you want to click on M to bring up the map. Now you want to click on this one here for, um, I'm, I'm assuming, galaxy or system. And then you want to select one of the other planets to warp to. So you cl click on it, so it has this little bracket and crosshair on there. Then say lock target. What you'll get now is you'll get a blue arrow. I'm actually physically pointing to it on the left, which is probably useless to you. But there's a blue arrow that will indicate where you need to face. Then go ahead and start increasing the speed of your ship. I'll increase it to its maximum of, I think, of 110 meters per second. And then the default hockey is K to warp. There you go. Does some cool little flashes. And here we are. We are now at, what was this planet called? Skillen. And there you go. That's how to fly, dock, and warp various ships. So just to show you that our docking worked just fine. Let's stop the ship. We're going to see if that Avenger ship is still here. Oh, sorry about that. Let me turn off the jetpack. Whoa, camera. All right, I have the jetpack off, so I'm letting the uh, gravity generator do its thing. And our ship is still here, just fine. This will allow you to dock a bunch of small ships to a capital ship and then move it around to wherever you want it to go. And to undock is just as easy as just hitting spacebar. Hit spacebar so it says docked, no, and then move your ship out of the hangar. And away you go. To adventure new planets. A word of warning while uh, moving and this is more for multiplayer than it is single player. If you have multiple people on a ship, they need to be sitting in a uh, passenger seat during transitions, whether it be warping and or coming in and out of an atmosphere. So make sure everyone's seated, or I guess they get ejected from the ship or killed. I don't know. But yeah. All right, folks, hopefully this video was useful to you. If there's anything else you'd like to know about Imperium Galactic Survival, which is actually on sale right now, this is uh, June 26th, it's during the summer sale, the game is only $12, and normally it's like $20. This is definitely a really fun game to pick up if you're into uh, building ships, you know, building bases, if you're super creative. Fortunately, I'm not. Um, but yeah, now you have the ability to just go into the atmosphere of another planet with your smaller ship. All right, folks, that's all I have to say about this topic. This is Johnny O'Nose signing off. Thanks so much for watching.